Hey foodies, I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite marinades. This marinade we used at the restaurant all the time and I still use it with my kids and it's just it's so easy and so flavorful and it works with just about anything. It works great with chicken and fish. I bet it would even go great with beef and lamb and goat, but fish for sure. So it starts off with six tablespoons of garlic. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, let's put it all in. Why not? Okay. And then three tablespoons of brown sugar. Three tablespoons of kosher salt. I know that sounds like a lot of salt, but it's a marinade. It's not a sauce and a tablespoon of paprika. I'm using a sweet smoked paprika because it adds a really nice flavor. And then we just mix all this together. So the garlic adds a little bit of moisture to this marinade and causes the brown sugar to melt a little bit. And the salt will dry the, the moisture from the garlic, causing the garlic to get the, the sugar to melt a bit. I mean, already you can see, oh my God, it smells so good. So I'm just stirring it up and this will go well with lots and lots of things. Um, this will keep in the fridge for a few weeks because it's really it's just garlic and it's salt and it's sugar and, and paprika. So you've got the preservative in there of the salt and the sugar. Already you can see it starting to melt, which is exactly what you want. Okay, so now all we have to do is get it on some chicken. I've got some chicken breast here, and I'm gonna throw in a couple tablespoons like that, and maybe a little bit more. Why not? And then I'm just gonna use my hands and just get it on all the chicken and just get it really mixed in there. You can see it's just, it's just a matter of mixing it up. You can have the kids do this if you want, especially with putting it on fish. It's a great way of getting the kids involved and enjoying things. Oh my goodness, look at that. Okay, so you can see already it's, it's absorbing and it's softening and it's tenderizing the meat because of the sugar and the salt, which is exactly what you want it to do. So I'm gonna let this sit for about two hours, at least two hours, maybe even overnight. Then I'm going to cook it and I'm going to show you the finished product. Oh, look at this. It's, oh, the smoked paprika, the garlic, the sugar, the, oh my goodness. It, it just, it looks and smells so good and so moist. Oh my goodness. Mm, oh my God. The flavors just explode in your mouth. It's so wonderful. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to reading all of your comments. See you next time.